Donald Trump may turn his inauguration into a reality show as he meets with Leonardo DiCaprio. Donald Trump has reportedly met with The Apprentice creator Mark Burnett to kick around ideas for a reality TV-style inauguration. The New York Times reports the U.S. president-elect revealed some of the unconventional ideas he and Mr. Burnett had for his January 20 inauguration during a fundraiser in New York City yesterday. Mr. Burnett, the producer of Mr. Trump's old reality show and also of programs like Survivor and The Voice, reportedly suggested a parade up Fifth Avenue in Manhattan, at the end of which Mr. Trump would take a helicopter ride to Washington, D.C. Mr. Burnett is said to be actively involved in producing the Inauguration Week celebrations, which could involve a cast of hundreds. Mark is a genius, and the president-elect loves him. Thomas Barrick Jr., a Trump confidant and private equity investor who is leading the presidential inaugural committee, told The Times. This was about throwing stuff out if you are thinking in the frame of mind of what a global audience would see. However, Mr. Berwick aid the inauguration will be a relatively subdued affair. In keeping with past celebrations, it's going the opposite way, he said. The president-elect wants this to be simple. He wants this to be about the people. It's not about putting on the most expensive talent and spending that kind of money to ingratiate himself. DiCaprio meets with Trump on green jobs. Leonardo DiCaprio and the head of his foundation have met with Mr. Trump to discuss how jobs centered on preserving the environment can boost the economy. Terry Tamminen, the CEO of the Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation, confirmed the meeting at Trump Tower in New York City. Mr. Tamminen said the pair gave a presentation to Mr. Trump, daughter Ivanka, and other members of Mr. Trump's team. Today, we presented the president-elect and his advisors with a framework which LDF developed in consultation with leading voices in the fields of economics and environmentalism that details how to unleash a major economic revival across the United States that is centered on investments in sustainable infrastructure, Mr. Tamminen said. Our conversation focused on how to create millions of secure American jobs in the construction and operation of commercial and residential clean, renewable energy generation. The Oscar-winning actor has been a strong advocate of fighting climate change and preserving wildlife, and his recent documentary, Before the Flood, addresses the peril that the world faces because of climate change. The meeting with Mr. Trump's team lasted for about 90 minutes. The actor also gave the president-elect a copy of the documentary. And Mr. Trump promised to watch it, according to a person who is familiar with the meeting but not authorized to speak publicly. Mr. Tamminen, who was Secretary of California's Environmental Protection Agency under former California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, said Mr. Trump was receptive and suggested they meet again next month. Climate change denier gets top environment job Mr. Trump has tapped Oklahoma Attorney General Scott Pruitt, criticized as a climate change denier and a staunch fossil fuel ally, to head the Environmental Protection Agency. For too long, the Environmental Protection Agency has spent taxpayer dollars on an out-of-control anti-energy agenda that has destroyed millions of jobs, while also undermining our incredible farmers and many other businesses and industries at every turn, Mr. Trump said in a statement. He said Mr. Pruitt will reverse this trend and restore the EPA's essential mission of keeping our air and our water clean and safe. My administration strongly believes in environmental protection, and Scott Pruitt will be a powerful advocate for that mission while promoting jobs, safety and opportunity, he added. The appointment has drawn outrage from Mr. Trump's opponents who say Mr. Pruitt is anything but an environmental advocate, pointing out that he has spent much of his time as Oklahoma's top law enforcement official battling the very agency he is now being nominated to lead. Scott Pruitt has spent the past several years fighting tooth and nail to help polluters erase or circumvent the critical environmental protections our nation has put in place, said Steny Hoyer, the number two Democrat in the House of Representatives.
to put him in charge of the very agency he has worked to undermine is an affront to all Americans who care about the health of our air and water and the very real threat we face from climate change. Mr. Pruitt's own official biography highlights his role as a leading advocate against the EPA's activist agenda and in the past he has sued the EPA on behalf of Oklahoma Utilities.